Welcome back everybody, welcome if you're new. My name is Brenna Lee and today we are going to look at the fruit of the spirit which is peace. So what is peace? So peace is the end of conflict which is and a type of reconciliation, right? So we were separated from God the moment that Eve and Adam fell into sin. So there was this that enmity and there was that 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 war between men and God just because of the sin which was committed which separated us from God so this peace will refer to the peace between men and God that you have because remember the the word of God says that God gives us peace not as the world gives so meaning the people in the world also has a peace to a certain level or degree however it is not the same as the peace that people who are redeemed have in order for us to have peace what happened was that Jesus Christ came he was sent down to die for our sins and through that we could have peace in um, Colossians 1 19 20 the Bible reads that for it is pleased the Father that in Him all the fullness should dwell, and by Him to reconcile all things to Himself by Him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of His cross. Yeah, so Jesus basically came down for the peace between the things on earth and the things in heaven. So the fact that Jesus came down for reconciliation, which means that there was war which means that there was no peace so in scripture we read that um it is through christ that we find peace in in john 16 33 it says that these things i have spoken to you that in me you may have peace in the world you will have tribulation but be of good cheer i have overcome the world so meaning that only in christ can we find peace so if you have not given your life to Christ, it's difficult to, impossible to have peace, total peace. And the peace that God gives is really beyond what the world can give. Where there is sin present, there you'll find conflict. Um, just like there was the conflict happened between the first mankind and between God when they sinned. That's when we were separated. And the same thing um, with the, um, Lucifer and god he had enmity towards god he was jealous only a jealous heart can have enmity it goes hand in hand in isaiah 57 verse 19 to 21 it says that i create the fruit of the lips peace peace to him who is far off and to him who is near says the lord and i will heal him but the wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest whose waters cast up M mere dead. there is no peace says my god for the wicked so if you are wicked if basically if you're living in sin you do not have the peace that peace that just surpasses all understanding that peace that only can only come from god so in order to have this peace you need to give your life to god so that you are under the submission of god because whenever you are not submitted under God that is when you have conflict with God because it's constantly your will against God's will and when this these are two different worlds so one has to submit and for as long as one does not submit there will always be that conflict that is a conflict that we feel when we are frustrated with a certain situation especially when it is a situation that you want for yourself but God does not want in the moment you submit yield to god's authority that's when you have total peace about it and even when you are yielded to god's authority you will always have the peace even when you're doing something that you really don't feel like doing because remember serving god and being under god's authority is not about your feelings it's not about what you think is good for you but it is about what is good for you so in with that said that when you do have that peace with god the peace automatically overflows to your daily life it, it shows forth in the way that you treat other people or just behave with other people how easily you forgive other people because you know that you also have been forgiven and so you handle situations better so um guys as we are building let's be at peace with god meaning that let's be, be under the total surrenderance to what god is doing and let's be in total peace with our neighbors let's not have that 
a heart of enmity towards people and, and that will please God having a forgiving heart is having a peaceful heart a lot of people struggle with making peace just because you're not in Christ um, with that said humans are in constant conflict with God and through Jesus Christ he came and paid the price so that we can have the reconciliation with God and just to receive that peace one of the other things that um, also overflow and show that you don't you're not at peace most of the time is when you are constantly constantly sick and you don't even know why you are sick however having a heart full of undealt with issues meaning you are not at peace with whoever those things can cause you to be bitter and that unforgiveness can overflow or the conflict that is going on in your body your mind and your spirit it is manifesting in the physical and that is why um it's, it's always said that we need to be at peace we need to forgive we need to forgive each other so that we are able to to just function well if you don't forgive god also won't forgive you so just for the sake of yourself please let's be in peace let's just submit to the authority of god and through that we have peace with god and that peace will just overflow into our relationships with everybody else because the peace of god comes with healing so thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate it and we are done for the first week we have two more weeks to go i'll see you again here on monday six o'clock bye